got a lead acid battery here, 2 volt cell, and we're going to take it apart. Now then, just on the positive there, let's see if I can zoom in, you can see there's the negative on that side, on the right hand side, and on the positive it's higher. The top of the case is actually buckled. Now this is normally caused by positive pole corrosion. So the positive pole, if the battery is abused or overcharged or undercharged or all those sorts of things, it will <coughs> corrode and expand and push the case up. So it's a good indicator that the battery is um, not very good. So what we plan to do, I've actually, you can see there, the join between the top and the case, I've actually gone round with a hacksaw, quite a coarse blade on it, and I've cut all the way round, having first, of course, tipped all the acid out. So I've set a turf for winch up, drilled a couple of holes in one of the joists and put a bar through and set up a turf for there. It's an 800 kilo turf for winch and there's the cable. And what we're going to do now is lift this battery by the terminals because that's the only way you can do it and try and take the black case off. So let's attach a rope to these terminals. I mean you could put a piece of bar through there because this battery is flat. But let's just assume that we want to investigate inside the battery and may want to use it again. Uh, typical. This doesn't want to come out, which tells me that this battery has been overheated. Normally these pop out reasonably easily. There we go. And luckily this is the type where that pops back in. Other types, there are two little pins and they just break off. Right. Let's have a look. Put that there and put that there. And then if you lift that, that will self-tighten. That looks good. As you can see, that's lifting up. So I suspect those poles are absolutely corroded. Could quite well be that everything has uh, swollen up. <coughs> Oh, maybe we're getting something there. Some 
things happening. Taking a quite a lot of force to... I've had these before and they just lift out. But I do know... I do know that this battery was in one of my battery packs about 10 years ago and perhaps more than that, more like 15 years ago and it was at least 10 years old before that. So we're talking 25 years old this battery. If you look here, we'll see that, but you can see all the uh, the positives are rotten as a pear. Let's wince that up a bit more. And of course, once you've got them out, if they come out reasonably easy, you can't afford to mess around with them too much because you won't get them back in. So you can't spread all this lot out because you won't get it back together. But you can, of course, clean all the gunge out in the bottom. Right, now it's on the floor. Let's have an investigate. That would go there. <coughs> right, just come upstairs to the, the workbench just to show you these bits so it's in a bit of a sort of an easier environment. I think we'd better zoom in. Let's just move that out of the way. Right, this is the positive, and as you can see, there were one, two, three, four, five of these pieces like that. Buzz bars, whatever you want to call them. And then on each of those five, there were these tails coming across like that. And then from, as you can see here, let's move that out of the way. Along those tails, there were the connections to the individual rails that went into the positive plate. So you can see it's all pretty rotten. Just there. There's a little bit of grey in the middle of that. But this is lead, so you know it shouldn't break that like that. But it's lead antimony or something like that, however you pronounce it. And that makes it harder and more resistant, but obviously only up to a certain point. Overcharging will destroy the positive. So you can see that. Now then, let's move this out of the way. This is a positive plate. And this is one of the plugs that goes in the bottom. Goes in there, stops the active material coming out of these tubes. But that is, that is one of the plugs that take the bar that runs down here uh, that has come off one of these little rails. Hopefully you can see that, it's not a lot. So that was pulled out the top of one of these tubes. And in here you can actually see, you can't see at the top, but on the bottom, once these plugs are taken out, you can actually see that rail that runs through them, the solid lead rail. 
here we are on handheld camera and this is a blunt pencil and you just see that center electrode there and there but the rest have gone you know, we were quite lucky to find that really so they're a reasonable diameter but they just disappear in time so that's a positive plate that's absolutely shot there's another one and here here we can see one of these little slugs that's broken off the buzz bar but it's in the top of the plate now this is the negative the negatives are in pockets because they're of a more traditional manufacture they're active material on a scaffolding let me see if you can see this can you see that sort of general scaffolding so that carries the current from on the plate and of course the buzz bars broken off this but that's active material that's been activated and then pressed onto this this lattice probably a lattice is a, diff, is a better word than scaffolding but same sort of thing and actually here you can see where it is so the negatives are stronger than the positives and the positives erode a lot quicker with abuse and time now a lot of forklift people when they've got a problem with a forklift battery as I've mentioned before they just put stronger acid in which works for a short time but then it creates even more of this this sort of just general destruction of the positive hopefully that makes sense here we have out of another battery there's the positives and they're just black on the top there's no silver or anything so you know they've really eroded well and the negative has actually snapped off there so battery abuse within sight now let's have a look what's in the bottom of the uh, the box loads of horrible grunge and there's a lot more in the bottom there there's a little rack that is supposed to hold the top of the, the bottom of the plate and uh, allow a space for all these gungy lead deposits right further investigations into batteries my mate Al's just brought me around this this battery and I've cut it apart with the angle grinder to try and preserve some of the structure so let's t I'm a bit wary with it because it's st still a bit fizzy with acid but let's have a look we can see here all the sludge and it was full to the bottom with all this sludge and there are the plugs in place that hold the uh, the active material into the bottom of these tubes and the active material has disappeared for a good half an inch so it may be that all this sludge was shorting it out it was definitely shown as one that was well, not holding very much current so let's have an investigate that's a negative break that out of the way and there is the positive and at the moment it looks like it's in one piece I'll just tip it slightly one two three four five six from the positive through there and as you can see it comes down 
but look the top of the positive where it connects to each of these little tubes has disappeared no longer there so if I grab hold of this it just pulls away and there's nothing on the connection at the top and I look inside of the tubes and there is no central core left at all and just opening up these tubes there's the active material but look there's been erosion there that's obviously when this where the central core was and there's a little bit just the microscopic is really well eroded away I think we'll just zoom right in on that you might not see it now but I can't tell Well, I lost a bit of footage, so there's the, this core, as you can see. But it's pretty eroded away, and of course there wasn't any at the top of this uh, tube. And of course it wasn't a continuous piece, so there was no contact between one part of this tube and the other, apart from through the active material, which of course wouldn't carry as much current. So although it sort of looked all right here, it's tough. And we knew that anyway because of a drop test. It just wouldn't supply the current, hence it was scrapped. I'm just pulling this one off apart, this side, and there. That tells you everything. There should be these all the way along there with the connectors. There's another bit floating in the bottom. So positive pole corrosion again and if we look at the top it's expanded. So this is pushed up there. This lot, did you see that? It just fell off. And there is no shiny in there so it literally just broke off whichever way and there's nothing so even though we have some contact or some part of the buzz bars where it meets the plates it's gone so yet again one more duff battery so here's one of the batteries from the battery pack and I've just loosened the cap. So let's zoom in. And you can't see very much so let's put the torch in there. There we go. Now Just in there, that is the negative, and there's one of the positives. And I'm just going to leave a sideways against the case, and that feels quite solid. But you could see there's no debris around these. And you can actually see down there the top of the tubes. So mechanically that seems fine. So I'd say that we don't have a problem with erosion. Hopefully that makes some sense. So as you can see it looked pretty iffy from the outside and inside it's even worse. It's not repairable. The only thing to do is recycle it.